in the previous video we have added all of our AI characters now in this video we will create the traffic AI system for our game so for that first of all in the scripts folder let's go ahead and create a new folder by the name of traffic AI you can name this whatever you want then in here we will create a C sharp script by the name of waypoint after this in the editor folder we will create another script but as you know that we don't have the editor folder right here so we will go ahead to create a editor folder and if you have the editor folder then you don't need to create another one okay so just name it as editor like this press enter then in here we will create another C sharp script by the name of waypoint manager window press enter here is our waypoint manager window script and once this is created then get back to the scripts folder traffic ai and let's open up this waypoint script in here let's remove the start and update function then right here at the top we will create a header by the name of waypoint status and in here we will be needing two references the first reference will be to our previous waypoint and the second reference will be to our next waypoint so first of all let's create that we will say public waypoint previous waypoint and then again we will say public waypoint and this will be now next waypoint so let me tell you that how our traffic AI or you can say how our waypoint system will work so consider this as the AI character to this AI character we will assign a waypoint navigator script don't worry we will do that in the upcoming videos okay so we will assign that script to this AI character okay and on that script we will navigate the waypoints so for example this ai character is looking for this first waypoint so it will actually come closer to this first waypoint okay or walk towards this first waypoint then on this first waypoint we will assign this waypoint script and as you know on this waypoint script we will have a previous waypoint and next waypoint data stored so for example this first wave point right here for the first wave point the next wave point will be 2 and for the 2 the previous wave point will be 1 so now when the character reach this first wave point the next wave point will be 2 so the character will move towards the second wave point now for the second wave point the next wave point will be 3 and for the 3 the previous wave point will be 2 so now when the character re reach to this second one then for the second one the next will be third one so the character will move towards the third one and similar in the other wave point as well when he reaches the third one for the third one the next will be 4 and for the 4 the previous will be 3 and next will be 5 so he will move to this wave point then to six seven eight nine okay and then when he reaches nine for the nine the next wave point will be one and for the one the previous wave point will be nine so now when the character reaches the nine one then for the nine the next will be one so the character will move towards the first wave point so in this way our character will move between many wave points which we will be setting in the upcoming videos this is just an, an example of how our traffic AI will work and once we created this waypoint system after this we will be also creating a branching system but that system is for the next video for now we will just focus on this one so now we have the previous waypoint and next waypoint data right here let's give a range to our waypoint width so we will say range the range minimum value will be 0f and the maximum value will be 5f okay this will be basically our waypoint width 
after this let's create a public float by the name of waypoint width and this will be equals to 1f after this let's create a public vector 3 by the name of cat position let's actually make the p capital and in here we will be getting the random waypoints so let's create a vector 3 by the name of minimum bound this will be equals to transform dot position plus then we will say transform dot right and let's multiply that by the waypoint width and let's divide that by 2f after this we will create another vector 3 by the name of maximum bound this will be equals to transform dot position and we will say minus transform dot right and let's multiply that by the waypoint width and divide that by 2 width then we will say return vector 3 dot lerp and this will be equals to or actually let's add a bound brackets first of all we will pass the minimum bound then the maximum bound and then after this we will say random dot range and the range will be from 0f to 1f so what this vector 3 minimum bound and maximum bound will do this will actually give some space between the waypoints for the ai character to walk in and you will know how this will work once we will be adding or you can say creating the waypoints so let's end this video right here and i will see you guys in the next one